Hello and welcome back to the farm where, uh, where we still got some work to do. All right, let's grab the Ford. Oh, some of you have been asking. I have not painted this Ford. It's just a dirty Ford. I don't paint my vehicle. I also need to guess up my Ford. It has a whole 29 liters of fuel left. Ah, uh, well. All right, let's head down to the farm. There have been a few changes. Um, and by changes, I mean not a heck of a lot. <laughs> oh, um, while I'm driving to the farm, let's... Uh, actually, let me get to the farm. Then I'll show you what I'm, what I'm on about. Look at that. Beautiful day. It's supposed to rain again today. It's really annoying. I collected a bunch of eggs, 57 more eggs, so we're going to probably go sell some eggs. All right, I bailed up the field, so we see the field's full of bales, so we're going to have to clean that off. Um, remember I cut the field up here, and I said I was going to take the kid, and I was going to go and um, silage it, um, or, or collect it and put it and make silage out of it. Well, see, I've got two things of silage. And then two alt-tip points of more silage. I might have blocked the, um, might have blocked, blocked the milk truck, but I really don't care. I don't have any cows. So there you go. There's two things of silage there. All right. Let's, um, turn that off. Man. All right. So see this pallet right here? Let's have a little flashback to earlier. Look at my pallet. Isn't that fun? I couldn't get it off the fork, and when I detached the fork, it did a dance. When I reattached it, it, it stopped dancing. So, um, there you go. Um, yeah, that was, that was fun. <laughs> oh, I also stacked up, look at that, stacked up my hay bales. Look at me. Look at me. Uh, press the right button. That hurt. That works better. Okay. So we're going to take the bobby cat here. We're going to go get some hay bales. Um, because that makes sense to, to do that. Um, but first we're going to fill up the truck because otherwise I will forget. And then where will we be? All right. We're just going to leave it there because we don't care. All right. Where is, where did I put this trailer? I wonder. Oh, it must be over there. All right, I'm gonna let the truck warm up a little bit. Make sure my trailer is actually where I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Yes, it's facing this way though, okay. Um, some of you suggested I should just collect the straw using the, the straw collecting trailer. <laughs> um, because I don't really need to, to have it bail to use it. And that's true, but bales made more sense to me, honestly. So there you go. That's what I did with them. It is going to be, I am probably going to struggle a little bit <laughs> with the bales, but y'all enjoy that anyway. Be a little bit easy with the bobcat. A little, not, not a heck of a lot. All right, let's go get said bobcat. And we will uh, turn that off a minute. There we go. Um, we got plenty of, of sheep vittles. I checked the sheep vittles earlier. Um, I also checked the chicken vittles. Chickens were, were vittled. <laughs> Chickens were fed. So we're almost, we're very close to having silage in both of these bunkers here. And what we do, <clears throat> my plan is to pull the silage out and put it over there in the silage area conveniently and then move the chaff from the alt tip pile from the alt tip pile over into the bunkers and we probably don't have to worry about silage for quite a while I mean we've got that's nearly 600,000 no that's nearly 200,000 liters in those two piles there, plus the two full, oh, uh, can't talk and drive, can't talk and drive, 
Um, along with these two full pieces here. Wow, what the heck is going on here? All right, there we go. All right, that'll work. Yeah, it looks kind of derp on that. <laughs> Let's just put the smallest tractor we got on here. That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, so we did that. This field is in the process of regrowing, such as it is. So we're nearly to the point where we're going to have to get, I think we're going to get the cow feeding device thingy, the placeable one. And, and that'll be good. But I'm going to smartly put it over the cow's like feed trough so it just keeps them fed. That's my plan. All right, we're going to run this guy out here. Kind of center him between these two bales. Not really sure how well this is going to work, but I'm certainly going to give it the old try. I think with this bobcat, I'm going to have a little bit easier time dealing with the, uh, you know what? There we go. Set the parking brake. <laughs> go. All right. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this because I think I can. I think it's gonna be so much easier with Bobby the Bobcat here. Because I would like to sow this field, and you guys didn't really vote too much. It's kind of strange, but um, I believe barley is what won. Some of you wanted me to do corn. Sure, eventually, but why would I do corn right now? <laughs> I mean, I've burned well over a million dollars worth of money getting bits for the farm here. Some of you are absolutely infuriated by that. But what can I do? Um, come on. Come on, Bobcat. There we go. And off. That's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Yeah. I should be able to get several bales on there. Oh. Some of you said I should get the um, the real physics or the real whatever mod at FSUK. I did go look at it, um, and it's actually going to be kind of a difficult one for me to do in uh, Mod Spotlight. Go. Now I'll tell you why that Fent that came off the uh, mod contest they state up front. Do not even have it in your mod folder because it uses a competing script that causes problems. Well, I really like that tractor. I don't actually have that tractor on any of my farms, but I do like that tractor. So I'm kind of, uh, kind of bummed about that. All right, and there. Okay, there. All right, can I just run and get a couple more? Why not? It's not the fastest vehicle in the world, but it's faster than loading back up on the on the Goldhofer. Right. And because the Bobcat is so small and petite, it uh, doesn't need a lot of space on the the back of the Goldhofer for when we go back and unload. So that's good. I think I can get. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how many bales I can get on here. We're going to find out. I mean, it looks like I can get easy six bales. If I... Six? Yeah. I think I can get an easy six if I'm careful about how I get the bobcat on the, on the trailer. I might be able to get eight if I can use that bit of trailer that's over the fifth wheel, because that would be, that would be perfect. I don't, I don't want to trust stacking them because the bales are a spawn of stain. <laughs> Go. All right, that's not exactly straight on there, but whatever. All right, well, that's looking good. Should be relatively quick. Clean this field up. Drop the barley down on here. Fertilize it. Of course, I gotta fertilize separately because I guess I could fertilize together. 
if I use the New Holland. It's like, because my John Deere doesn't have a front hitch on it. Go. Look at that. Look at that. How many of you are like, he's just going to screw this up royally? <laughs> I've been practicing. Neener, neener, neener. Right. I wish, I do wish that um, you could get hired help to do this, because really. Oh, well. One thing about the uh, the size of these bales in this bobcat, ooh, ooh, turning around, I discovered, is a dangerous proposition if you don't, if you're not paying attention. Because uh, while I was stacking the hay bales, yeah, I turned too fast and had an accident. Might have rolled my bobcat a little bit. <laughs> uh, I was able to straighten it up though without resetting, thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be able to do this in two trips. It's not bad. If I had the realistic mod on here, I could probably do it all in one trip. Because I'd be able to uh, stack the bales on the trailer without a problem. Maybe I could get one more, maybe two more onto the... I'm gonna go for one more back here with the Bobcat. I think that'll work. Is that one moving? No, okay. Forward, up, turn. Come on, come on, come on. There, off, perfect. All right, we're gonna go get one more. We're gonna put it back on the back with us. Uh, doesn't really matter, they're all about equally far away. That's not true, but whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna stack them properly when we get over here. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna focus on getting the bales off the field first and then I'll stack them properly later. That's, I know all of you are groaning because I'm doing such a good job. I haven't derped terribly. I know. I'm trying to get better, which I know is gonna like totally bum some of you guys out in the world. Oh, okay. That's interesting. All right. We've got our wheels lined up-ish. What in the... Okay. All right, fine. Let me try backing on. Ooh. Uh, there we go. Okay, come on. Don't be silly. Just go right up there. Why is the front... Stop that. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That works. Don't know why it worked, but it worked. There we go. And... There. And we're... No, oh, I was just going to hop out and leave it running, but I had the wrong key, so I turned it off. All right, well, whatever. All right, let's pull this up. Go. I'm going to go with cruise level one here. Oh, turn off the brakes. Yeah, look at that. Perfection. Um, some of you suggested I get the cat bale trailer because that has the auto pick. Um, I think I've said it before. If I haven't, it does not auto pick large bales. And modifying it to pick large bales 
is not really my idea of something that's fun. I tried it, just like a quick hack of it to, to see if I could do it fast. Um, no dice. I actually have to do a little bit of looking into bail positioning and stuff. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. Just the way it is. The sheep said it. I'm confused about the whole, like, pallet problem. So, if you've seen that pallet problem and you know how to fix it, I'd appreciate, like, knowing what in the world that was. Other than funny, but not funny at the same time. I mean, I could not, for, for the life of me, I could not get my, um, uh, I could not get my pallet fork out. I tried rubbing it on everything I possibly could. It just would not, would not release. So I was stuck. And then I was like, well, the only thing I can think to do is to unhook and rehook the, the fork. And you saw the effects of that decision. So that wasn't cool than that. Other than that, I'm enjoying my Bobcat. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of dump these bales here. Kind of spin around in circles. We're going to just dump the bales here and I'll... Because uh, it takes me a while to stack them like they are over there. Uh, it takes me forever. Especially because I get all like OCD about it and I'm like, well, that bale's not lined up with that bale and I've got to take it off now and I've got to redo this whole thing because the bales aren't lined up properly. And I'm like, yeah, Dare, come on. It's just a bunch of bales, but... I just have to have it looking nice, you know? Go. See, there's derp. There's still derp. Go. I'm also concerned. It says it's going to rain at 6.45 in the morning, so... I'm thinking I need to try to get the, all the... At least get most of the bales in before it starts raining. Probably be good. Go. Yeah, this is working really well. The unloading is a is a bear because it takes forever, but still. This might be where it would be good to have like the uh, the Ford front end loader over here to unload the bales because it can just push them right off and just ignore the uh, the stacking, leave the stacking for the little bobcat. But I'm not going to get that stupid Ford all the way over there. All right, go, perfect. that down so that we can actually drive without crashing. Mm. I have found the Bobcat is easier to control with a controller instead of a keyboard system. Um, it it's easier to handle because it's not like binary. You have the gentle movement that you can give the controller. Unfortunately, um, I often forget to hook my controller up. Um, right now what's hooked up is a joystick for flight sim. So... <laughs> That doesn't, I know that doesn't work very well at all with farm sim. I mean, it technically works with farm sim. Don't get me wrong about that. But it doesn't work well in my mind, you know? All right. There we go. Uh, back up. There we go. Last bale to come off of here. Some of you have been asking um, asking about farm sim on the console. Am I going to get it? No, I'm not going to get it. Um, I like mods. If I can't have my mods, I don't want it. So there's that. Um, some of you have been asking, am I going to get the uh, DLC that has all the, the stuff that... Uh, the, um, the console guys are going to get. I don't know yet. I'm still on the fence about that one. I haven't gotten the Ursus DLC just because 
I didn't really see a need for it. Um, but, see, okay, what is going on with this bobcat not wanting to go on my gold hopper? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, if I go fast enough, he does it. That's just weird. All right, we're gonna leave it running this time. Get that up. Brakes are off. Okay. Brakes are off? Yes, brakes are off, okay. Cool, let's go get the rest of our hay bales. Man, this is going a lot faster than last time. Ah, <laughs> uh, it helps. It helps to have the bobcat, I think. It's easier to mani manipulate things. Okay, let's go up here. Gonna position ourselves sort of middle of the road-ish, I think. I think this is good right here. There we go. Brakes on. Lower the back. Ah, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, perfect. Perfection. All right, away we go. Something about the front of the Bobcat and the Goldhofer trailer. Just not, not getting along. That's, that's sad. All right, and, oops. <laughs> go. Perfect. Ooh, spin around in circles. Do a little dance. Imagine driving this. I can't see a thing. Wow. Yeah, I totally want um, a sunroof or something. Stand up. I've driven a Bobcat before. I was just a, just had a shovel on it. We were uh, moving dirt for irrigation ditches. Perfection. All right. And to all of you that have asked, I, I know I haven't necessarily answered people per se that have asked. Um, I did tweet out that we're, we're fine from the flooding here in Colorado. Um, we did get to spend some time without any neighbors. <laughs> we were basically all... All told to get out, and uh, me and Toss decided not to go. <laughs> so, there you go. We stayed home. I was like, screw it. I ain't leaving until the water's lapping at my doorstep. This is a stupid thing to do, and you should never do it. <laughs> but, nonetheless. Yeah, there we go. Right now, there are a lot of bobcats running around town trying to clean all the muck and mud and gunk off the roads. Those roads that are still around, of course. Some of them just aren't. Right. Go. Look at this. This is like the fastest I have ever cleared a, a field of bales without a, uh, a bale pack. Uh, bale stacking trailer. Except for when I just shoved them off the side. Go. Perfect. Sean. Okay. Then there's that one there. Then those two there. And then the one that's on my hook. And we've got it. Two trips. That is awesome sauce right there. We'll get the then we'll get the John Deere out. Back up. We'll get the John Deere out. We'll have the John Deere uh we'll have the John Deere uh sow and we'll fertilize with the um the New Holland. It just feels right to me to do it like that, not not to 
daisy chain them together. I know it's faster to daisy chain them, but I don't know, it's just me. Uh, okay, that's like so out of sorts, but whatever. Up, up, forward, little bobcat. I have a feeling that if I had the realistic mod on here, this bobcat would not be moving this uh, this size of a hay bale. I've got some serious problems. There's that guy over there. And I know I've missed some spots of grass in my plowing. I don't care enough to fix that, honestly. All right. Let's... Go. Second to last bale. Look at how fast I did that. Wow. It's like one episode to clean bales by hand. Well, not one episode. One part of one episode. That's awesome. I've also decided to do something else. Um, so, I'm going to be doing that. Um, actually, while the John Deere is, is seeding, I'm going to go do something that is that does not affect this field at all. Um, and I'll come back and fertilize this field later because, well, or should I just, should I just buck up and do it? Uh, I'm starting to think I should just buck up and put the New Holland on this field with the front fertilizer on it. All right, let's do our trick again. We'll go up here until our front end sinks and we'll push ourselves up. No, 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 don't fall through there, you silly, silly bobcat. Bad bobcat, bad bobcat. Bad bobcat, stop that. Silly thing. All right, tires are on. Tires are on, let's go. All right, there, now let's push down. Going. Hey, Bobcat, stop that silliness. Oh. What is. Jeez. Whatever that is, is annoying. I'll say that right now. Alright, we on? We're on. Okay. Ah, oh, that's going to fall off, isn't it? Well, let's hope it locks when this comes up. 